Well, hello everyone, here we have another Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review, and today's of which is on Quality Quidditch Supplies and Nocturne Alley, also, from 2003. The only pair from 2003, of course. So we'll start off with the manual for Quality Quidditch Supplies, which is the only one you're going to see in this video. Have the same border that we've seen since 2001 and 2 lines and Lego logo, older Harry Potter logo, and little choking hazard and set number 4719 has. And also a picture of everything there is, of course. On the back is all the sets from 2001 and 2 and how they connect together, of course. And after the Chamber of Secrets PCCD ROM game. And the last building steps for it, of course. And so now on to the mini figs included. Okay, hang on. All right. So first off, have, have Draco Malfoy, who which has. His, some exclusive printing and the base print of which, same as from the uh, Sorcerer's Stone and Chamber Secrets wave, and same hairpiece as well. Uh, and also no leg printing on all of these. And whereas for the two for Nocturne Alley is got Harry Potter himself with, with the all right, same kind of deal of torso print, but in a sand green color, which also exclusive to that. And all these were exclusive to these two sets, of course. and and as for Lucius Malfoy, have also some unique front torso printing, which might be used in a couple other themes, or one other theme, or, or something. But what, besides that, the face prints of which, and hair pieces, same as from other sets, of course. And of course, this of which, at this time, only other way to get Lucius Malfoy, of course. And no back torso printing, or double side faces, since they're older figures. In, yeah. so first off for quality quidditch supplies you get both of these little stands here one that's a barrel with a pair of legs red and green and also a stand with a pair of capes also in red and green representing both Gryffindor and Slytherin So now on to quality quid supplies to the shop itself. Uh, quite good, some kind of alright build for it. Like, but also there's plenty, these two have plenty of neat pieces uh, to it. Like you see this window piece, uh, which was only in this and also in the uh, uh, highly expensive uh, Shrieking Shack set. But of course, this switch was cheaper alternative to get it, and and well, still is. And as you see, and as you see the rooftop of which, plenty of like sand green slopes, as well as this top area above, of course. And also, do you get another broom piece and also this little uh, flag sign thing, and of which. Is it only one to ever include this? But as you see, kind of gappy in this area, which I think there should have been like another pair of these one pieces or the one by one versions of them to fill that gap in. And but besides that, also look on the inside, and you see a little hinge there, of course, and you can like. Make it in a V shape or more bent shape like that or like that or however you want. And so now for this interior part, which you do get the like a classic broom piece in this lightish caramel brown color, and also one of these dome pieces. Oops which holds a single stud with the stud piece of which in metallic gold which really nice 
which is quite nice. Finally, only other time of being used that other than the original Quidditch set, and of course used as the Golden Snitch. And also do get the like Quidditch uh, book here. And of course, good printing on it, and of course, classic book piece. And I think this did come in a couple other sets as well. And then also do get the like red technics or or ball joint piece used in red as a quaffle, of course, and also classic sack piece like we've seen in a couple other sets as well. And also the and also a type or I mean a cash register, of course. And then above of which do get another one of the flag pieces. And if you turn that, then there's of course couple other technic ball joints used as either bludgers or rather uh, black quaffles. Well, however you can decide that. And not much to it, but also if this were remade in nowadays, I think this would be a good bit better, of course. And that's it with that one. And now on to Nocturne Alley. So first for the main build here, which is kind of the same as the other, which and same cash register piece, of course. And also do get plenty of interesting pieces as well. Like, of course, the uh, trans yellow spider piece, of course. And also clear minifig head piece with a brain printed on it, kind of interesting. And also a couple of potions there, and also another thing there. And also what, this one interesting piece. Not sure if it was used elsewhere, but there's this tile with an actual hand piece, hand printed on it, which, which you can definitely use in some haunted house type of box like in monster fighters and things and of course you do get the uh, like like classic evil skull pieces like in most castle lions and also plenty of vacant space above to represent its attic of course and also if you know it this little cup there and Turn this up, and there's the little piece, this little tile that represents a Zack with a spell coming out of it, which we've seen in a couple other sets. But and if you look from the front view of which, so you have those classic one-by-one uh, -one bricks with an, with eyes on it, and which we've seen in most other themes like studios and things. But yeah, but as for this front view of which have the good archway above and also these arm robot arm pieces from classic space lines to hold the uh, flames on it and two owl pieces in dark gray representing statues of owls of course and just like the other one of which has the split kind of thing where you can display like this, this. Or like this, however you want it. And good use of slopes around, but this time in dark gray, and also a bit in dark blue as well. And also do get that all around kind of one in black, very nice. And to the main other build, which is the travel flute. Uh, so uh, kind of all right to build to it, although I think there could have been a lesser or shorter plate for this one, but I think it's there just to reach at better. And as you see, see a couple of slopes in there, but of course, it's for the main feature of which. And of course, for the main feature is you know, raise this up, take a fig, 
Oh wait, hang on. Need that all enclosed in. Or just make sure it's in a sitting down position. Maybe like that. Close this up. And if you see this dark blue uh, little holder piece there, and you pull on that, and it drops right out. So great feature. And of course, quite accurate to the movie, obviously. And uh, what else is there? Uh, not much, although I think it could work out as connected to the, to the Nocturnality set, of course. Although, although, although it would kind of ruin the split thing of it, but whatever. And of course this whole set of which never re before redone, well, until the recent uh, Diagon Alley set, of course. Or no, no, 2011 Diagon Alley, of course. Same with Gringotts Bank, of course. Hopefully they do some more in the future. Same with Hogsmeade, obviously. And so now, let me get these all together and on to the final verdict. So overall, oh, oh wait, hang on. Okay, so overall, these I think, which are pretty good sets for the time, like, even though this, these were the only two for 2003, of course, even though it wasn't until the next year, also next next Throwback Thursday, when the Prisoner of Azkaban line came around. And also these in which last time of ever having them with the uh, yellow face print, or skin tones, of course. But how these sets came around, uh, they're, they may be kind of weakish, but I can forgive them on how they came around. But hopefully they'll uh, make them again in the near future, of course. Like possibly next year or whatever, uh, but for, and hopefully if uh, quality quidditch supplies gets remade, I hope it also features bits of like Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff as well, and or maybe even let this be another set of Diagon Alley or whatever, and of course all the exclusive things, which I hope they also remake as well. But yeah, and also these sets do provides good parts packs with some unique pieces to them. And so if you, and now, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely get them. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.